Smells like teen spirit. In this game, you'll be given a question. The only catch is that you have to answer by correctly spelling the word as a team. A spotlight will signal which team member must give each letter of the answer until the word has been correctly spelled out in its entirety and there is to be no conferring. Every word spelt will give you another clue to who's in the mystery box. Anything to add, John? Uh, don't worry if you can't spell, OK? Cos... Uh, <laughs> sorry, read that wrong. Do worry. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, Steve, you're up first. John, will you please press the button to activate the spotlight randomizer? Are you there? There you go. Your first clue is What B is a 1992 film starring Whitney Houston that featured the song I Will Always Love You? Oh. Ba. Ba. <laughs> oh. D. On you, Ria. Why? G. Ria. Oh. You. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> er. Oh God. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did spell it correctly, bodyguard. <laughs> but I think we should all agree to say our letters properly. Okay. <laughs> Force of habit. <laughs> Sorry. We're enough. You're Young ones at home. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. So, bodyguard. Spelt it absolutely perfectly. <laughs> Let's move on to your next clue. Which US southern state, beginning with a T, has Nashville as its capital? Woof. <laughs> <laughs> so that was oh, it. Us still? Yeah. Oh, um, t, t, t. Oh, E. N. N. Ria. That's correct. S. Still on Alan? S. E. <laughs> e. Wow! Very well done, Tennessee! <laughs> Looks like this spelt it absolutely perfectly. This never happens. People are never good at this. I'm excited for Alan's team. Your next clue. <laughs> what word beginning with S describes a person in their 70s? S. E. P. Ria? Oh, that word. OK. <laughs> T. That's correct, Alan. G. So, the answer is septuagenarian. Oh, I was not I looking for a U. I thought it was senile, so I'm glad. <laughs> 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 I can tell you at the end of that, you scored two points. Well done, team. The clues for that. Now it's time for Darren's team to have a go. Let's see if you can beat the score of three. Your first clue. Okay. What name is given to someone who has the ability to use both the right and left hand equally well? A. Okay. So it's on Darren, that's right. M. D. It's yeah. right. So, yes, it's ambidextrous. Spelt like that. Very hard word. OK, let's I give you another I, clue. I, 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 Just don't look at Fern. I can't look at <laughs> 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 Oh, Fern! Oh, shit, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> OK, you've got, you've got another clue. What R is a plastic gem that adorns clothes? R. H. So was rhinestone. Rhinestone! I don't know what it is. Rhinestone, spelled with an right. I. I didn't know what the answer was. Let's right, give you Karen. another clue. Right. We've got you another clue. It's fine. Okay, I didn't when know you're what ready. The was. That's fine. What is the name of the popular festival in the summer in Somerset? <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> G. L. E. S. It's T. O. N. B. U. R. Yeah. So long, you, Kerry. Why? Glastonbury. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> OK, well done, Darren's team. At the end of that, you scored one point. After that round, Alan's team are in the lead, but there's still all to play for.